Okay, hi there, Mr. Automation is back uh, with a remake of one of the videos I promised, or another video I need to do a lot more. Uh, this time it's uh, about the ACL video. I created one in the past, but uh, video quality was not that good. I couldn't watch it on my tablet, for instance. I could hardly watch it on my laptop. So that's why I'm recreating it with better resolution, uh, uh, more scaled up, so to speak. Right? Uh, today, we're going to set ACL with PowerShell like we did before. Uh, we get some content from a server text file. Right? Those are the systems we need to target. We create a new ACL and store that. Uh, we loop through all those servers. We set an ACL on the remote system. Right? We, we take a folder or a file and uh, we stick the ACL on that. Then we verify the permissions on one server at least, you know, so you have some proof. And after that, perhaps we run the script again with the get ACL to see what we actually set, you know, there's some, uh, but you can validate if the permissions are correct. So without any delay, I open the script editor. It's empty, uh, as you expect from me. So I start typing and we do a, a split pot again on uh, my invocation dot my command dot definition. And I already showed you that that gives you the current working directory uh, of the script, right? That's this where the script is located. And I will CD into that one, by the way. Powers of demo too, right? So now we have the current working directory. Inside of that current working directory, we have again a service.txt. We check that with uh, get content. We uh, press F8. And we could not get anything back. So that's interesting. Let's see if we have like a surfer. Ah, it's called surfer. Okay, that makes sense. So surfer. And I'll close that one. So we should get something back. Yes, and we store that again. Remember, we have like our, our own surfer array again. Uh, let's see what was the mission, by the way. Anyway, if we need to for each loop, that's always like uh, if you do multiple stuff, of course, for each server in servers servers yes open and close and then we have the server to play with server yes and if we now run the script see you see we get nicely our servers back there here below so that's good let's go back to the presentation let's see and so we get the content we create and store a new acl so we create an acl here doesn't matter where it comes from uh for now uh I will share this at least, otherwise you don't see anything. And let me go to my desktop and I create, a, I have here a test.txt file. Test.txt file. Uh, it's hard for me to size this up, by the way. I can try it. Uh, but here we have to like the security and we're going to edit that, right? We're going to add somebody. And I honestly don't know who, so let's see what we have. Uh, we can add like the administrator, that's fine. Uh, we give that the modify permission, doesn't matter. Uh, we add somebody else, let's see, advanced, find, let's see what we have else. We have authenticated users, even on a workstation, I think, on a workgroup machine. Uh, we'll give that guy write permissions, and then we do something special as well, something special. Uh, let's see if I can zoom this a little bit for you. Uh, let me open zoom it first, that will help. I can type again, zoom, zoom it, and let's see, yeah, so you see, I have now permissions here, and what I'm going to do is for the authenticated users, right, going to, uh, going to advanced, we go to the authenticated users, and we're going to do some advanced permissions even here, right? So uh, let's remove that. Let's really do some fine grained stuff. Uh, I don't know if this is loud. You see, so we removed some. Uh, so this guy now has special permissions, not normal permissions. Okay, that's good enough. So imagine uh, you have a file and, and you set like 20 groups on it or whatever. And you fine grained permission those. And then you, we use that in our script as a sort of template. So we store that ACL equals get ACL and we stick in that part and let's see now we should have an ACL to play with right and we have dot access for instance see that describes the access full control full control you see 
And this guy, the authenticated users, has like read data, append, you see all those special permissions. So everything is stored now inside of this ACL object. So we have that now in place. Now we need to fake some stuff on this, those remote servers. And I honestly don't know which servers uh, we're going to target. So let's see. 11, 12, and 13. Okay, fair enough. I honestly don't. Uh, let me check if they are switched on. Because that will help. Uh, let me see. Okay, I have a couple of those guys here. Just look, you see. A couple of them uh, up and running. That should be fine, I guess. So we go back to the to the editor and we close this left side again. And now we have the service to play with. And what we need is like sort of a new file on that remote system so we can play with. And I will check if we already have something perhaps on the C drive, for instance, of this fellow. Let's see if I can connect. Uh, you don't see this on the screen where I'm connecting now to the C drive of another system and I'll show you that in a second. So here I'm now on the C drive, right, on that remote system. And for instance, we have an important .dxt file, right? Just imagine this ACL is not correct, right? Perhaps we're going to advance, uh, re remove the users, uh, we must need to disable inheritance forest, by the way, and uh, then remove the users and then we click apply. Okay, so this file, important.txt, remember that we stick that inside of our file, right? And we do remoting again, so the remote location will be the server name, so we have that in memory, server, backslash c$, dollar, right, for the c drive, and then backslash important.txt, stick that in a sort of string. That's expandable and we, uh, I think we can do this set ACL, if I can type, minus path, I think path, file path, uh, hang on, I'm making a mistake, so let's see, mon set ACL, let's see what it can do, uh, ah, it was, a, it wants, okay. Ah, okay, so we, ah, okay, set ACL minus path. Okay, now I see it, you see? So minus path, that is valid. And then minus ACL object, and then we stick that ACL in. Okay, let's see if we run this, if we get something uh, changed on those remote servers. Probably not. It does not exist. Okay. I'm gonna cheat a little bit here. I'm gonna create that file on one of those systems. Uh, minus force, minus item type file. Pretty sure that should work. Let's see. Ah, I think I don't have access to all those systems. So probably we need some domain credentials again in place. You know? Yeah. I'm coming now from a work-based uh, uh, machine, workgroup-based machine. So get credential. I'm gonna store that for now, and I do my credentials for my domain. I'm not pausing the video. I'm honestly making mistakes as well. That's no secret, you know. As long as you can know how to solve them, it's not a problem. So now we're going to do an invoke command. You already saw me doing that a million times. Minus computer name. So we stick the server in there. We do a script block again. We stick that stuff that we have here inside of that script block, right? We can now remove all this stuff because it's local for that system. So it's just the C drive, right, for the new item. And this exactly the same. It's just C colon important now, right? That's the part. And this ACL object is not available inside of this script block because it's there. So if you want to use that, you do a using there. Uh, I haven't tried this once with uh, uh, ACL, by the way, doing uh, remoting on that, so we'll see. And we stick some credentials in there, and we stick the domain credentials we just created in there. And now I comment this out, because otherwise it will ask me again. And we'll see if we get something back here. Let's see. We run. Hmm, it looks a little bit better than the first try. You know, we probably didn't have any permissions to those boxes. Uh, so, for instance, we go to the 13. I think that's also in the array. 
and as you can see i'm already prompted for credentials because i don't have access to that box so that proves that my script is really using uh, alternate credentials right and now i log in remotely to that box with my domain credentials and we see that important file here right it's empty doesn't matter but let's look at the permissions if that's okay you see uh, this could be couldn't be translated that's true because that comes from my specific system you know that can be translated on that other system it doesn't matter the acl still works and uh, we're going to prove that by uh, advanced we disable inheritance uh, we convert it we remove administrators remove users remove this i remove authenticated users we apply everything i'll show you as well it's really gone in the security oh i don't even have permissions left uh, <laughs> You see, I probably probably broke it. Uh, let's see if we run this, if we get it back into shape. I honestly don't know. I lost ownership of that file, so I don't know exactly an authorized uh, operation. I kind of expected that, so I need to take ownership of this guy again. Yeah, so I took ownership back. <laughs> At least that we could uh, access the file uh, again. So you see it, it, but the permission is screwed up. So let's see if we run the script now, if we are able to set that uh, permission back. Let's see if we got some errors. I still have an access denied there. Okay, hang on. I need to address that. Okay, should be fine now. Let's check it again. Let's see. Run it again. Okay, now we have all files. And now this guy, let's see should have that strange sit you see that comes from my uh workgroup machine that's not translated on the domain that's why you see a security identifier but it actually did our stuff you see the special permissions for the authenticated users right we we configured that here you know remember the authenticated users we gave all this special stuff see it's all copied and that's because of we used the acl here right with the get acl and we have like the SDDL syntax. I showed you that the last time. Uh, if you have any knowledge of uh, SITs and, and how uh, ACLs work, then yeah, this should uh, uh, look familiar. Uh, but I suggest you forget about this. We have now get ACL and set ACL. So you don't need to worry about all this nasty stuff that's going under the hood. Let's see now. Uh, so we create and restore an ACL. We look through the servers. We already set the ACL on the remote server to fix a uh, file. We verified the permissions on at least one server, and now we do the get ACL to prove it. Yeah, that's a nice one. So now we, we're not, not creating anything more. We just do a get ACL on that part, and we don't need to specify that, but only this. And let's see if we get like a nice uh, list back of, uh, of items. Let's see. See? So on important.txt, the owner is that. Uh, and they, uh, you see the authenticated users have like these special permissions. I'm not expanding this, uh, by the way. Uh, so yeah, I think we proved that the ACL is also set now, so it works. And you can scale this up, of course, if you have like more servers inside of this server txt file eh? you have a bunch of, of uh, more servers then you can you know, set permissions on on uh, on a file remotely with powershell you know to fix some stuff or something um i mainly create these videos just to give you like an understanding on how looping work you know and how different uh commandlets should be used right it's not like this is an enterprise script that you can run on your uh, environment you know you need to have some error handling in place some logging perhaps you know you can have failures as well in production uh, so it's just for demonstration purposes how to use the get ACL and the set ACL. And I showed you that and I'll fix this guy back the way it was because then I can post it also inside of the uh, YouTube channel. Um, yeah, let me go one more time back. Get ACL. Yes, we've proven everything. Okay, that was it for this video. Thanks for watching. I hope to see you in the next video. Bye bye.